Hi guys and welcome back to Age of Games. Today we bring you the latest updates from Age of Empires 4. The recent announcement has unveiled another brand new civilization, the Byzantines. The Byzantines are a new civilization available with the Sultan's Ascend expansion for Age of Empires 4, set to launch on November 14th. The Byzantines come equipped with three unique aspects that set them apart from other civilizations. The Byzantine civilization constructs sprawling aqueduct networks that boost the productivity of their empire and aids in the generation of olive oil, a unique fifth resource used to hire mercenaries. They have access to a diverse array of mercenaries, giving them an edge in warfare. From a militaristic standpoint, the Byzantines have capable command over the battlefield, pairing a broad roster of units and mercenaries with powerful Greek fire that can have a lasting effect on an impacted area. Let's dive into the historical background of the Byzantines in Age of Empires IV. The Byzantines represent a civilization that covers roughly the early 9th century C to the mid-15th century C. The Eastern Roman Empire, now commonly called the Byzantine Empire, was created in an administrative split with the Western Roman Empire that lasted over a thousand years, surviving the fall of its Western counterpart and providing the shining center of medieval civilization in their capital of Constantinople, all while being beset by enemies on all sides. Now, let's take a closer look at the unique units that the Byzantines bring to the game. So lead the Cataphract, completely enclosed in scale armor and equipped with a powerful lance, replaces the knight at a higher cost. Groups of Cataphracts are capable of a devastating charge that tramples anything in their path. The Varangian Guard, Imperial bodyguards drawn from Northern Europe and beyond, are powerful elite soldiers. By swapping their shields for great two-handed axes, they trade armor for significantly increased burst damage with their berserking ability. The Chero Siphon replaces the ram and sprays jets of Greek fire, creating a lasting burning ground that deals damage to anything caught in the blaze. The Limitanae is the Byzantine Spearman replacement, engaging in a shield wall that drastically reduces incoming range damage at the cost of movement and attack speed. Let's explore how the Byzantines evolved through the ages and age of empires. In age one, the Byzantines can establish the first cistern, laying the groundwork for their future aqueduct network. Villagers gain a gathering bonus when within range of the cisterns and buildings within influence can benefit from various enhancements. The Grand Winery in Age 2 opens up opportunities to recruit mercenaries and provides an olive oil production boost to villagers gathering nearby. This age also introduces the Imperial Hippodrome for quickly producing cavalry units. In Age 3, the Byzantines choose between the Golden Horn Tower or the Cistern of the First Hill. The former allows the civilization to automatically recruit mercenaries at no cost, whereas the latter provides a powerful healing effect via the Pilgrim Flash technology. In Age 4, you have the option to produce siege engines from across the known world, with the aid of the Foreign Engineering Company, or strengthen and train additional units from the core Byzantine roster at the Palatine School. There you have it, the exciting new Byzantine civilization in Age of Empires 4, arriving on November 14th. Whether you're a history enthusiast or a strategy game lover, this expansion offers something truly unique. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to stay updated on all things Age of Empires. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.